Uh, it's January 25th, 2017. It's a nice 60 degree day here today. So we're gonna do some more painting on sunny days. Use the, I've used, if you followed along, painted this top part, the uh, bright side, medium blue. Now we're painting this bottom part, bright side white. Using the, uh, I've used the blue tape before, but I've had better results with the green frog tape for cutting the line. So I'm using the green frog tape. I've used that uh, before and I definitely enjoy the results with that versus the blue tape. So just thought I'd show you what we're, what I'm doing. Done a little bit already. Now, since I'm going white over blue, it is gonna take at least two coats, maybe three. So I'm not trying to necessarily cover it the first coat as if it's the finished coat. I'm trying to just get that first coat on. And once again, I'm just gonna use small, small areas. This is probably smaller than before. I've got a little spot right there. So I'm gonna, with a toothpick, use a toothpick and get that off. And I try to keep a paper towel handy so I've got a something to put it on. So, like I said, with the roller, you do try to go vertically first, and then when you do the tipping, you go horizontally. So I prefer to work the other direction because I'm right-handed, but I do like to try to paint a boat from back to front. That way the layers are one on top of the other. So trying to feather that in and feather that out, but it, like I said, the first, this is simply the first coat, so I just want to get a nice first base coat on there. You don't want to mess with it too much. Just get your roller on there, get your paint on there, and then tip it. So move on to the next section. This section's probably, as before, about 8 inches by about 12 inches. It's a small roller, a little bigger than the one I've used before. Not much. So, to get it on, I'll do it any way I can. Then finally, I do try to do it vertically, because I am going to come back and brush it horizontally. So I'm going to try to go from back to front as I'm doing the tipping. I really have to try to get an angle as I'm doing it. It's as light as possible. It's harder to f getting a little bit of feathering, but not a whole lot. I'd like to get that's a little better. That's better feathering. So final very light first coat bright side white on sunny days and we've got a nice sunny day for get some paint on sunny days which is nice we've had so many rainy days here this year but it's a perfect day for painting perfect day 60s low humidity don't have to worry about bugs in the in January, there are no bugs. Air is very clean, fresh. Good, perfect time for painting right now. So once again, get it on there. And then I want to go ver uh, vertically. And come back and tip it horizontally. Just as light as I can. Feathering it out. And I'm going to do one more section. Moves right along. Preparation. 
as always sanding it using a light grit cleaning it and then using thinner just on a paper towel just to get the last bit off and get the surface as prepped as possible for the paint Final, I'm going to do is vertically and then I'm going to feather it horizontally feathering it all the way out it's like a finish line on a race go past the finish line This bright side paint is good stuff. I'm not sure if I got a good one of that last one, so we're going to do another one. You see how it moves right along. Once again, it's about an 8 inch, maybe 12 to 14 inches long. What I'm going to do is after I've got the white on, I've got a yellow stripe and a uh, electric blue stripe that will go on the white. So it's going to be the medium blue on top, then white, then a one inch bright yellow stripe, and then a half inch electric blue stripe. And I see a little spot there. I'm gonna see if I can just get it with the with the yeah. I just got that with just the brush. I do a toothpick if I need to use a toothpick to get it. And that's painting sunny days. The white, which is going underneath the medium blue bright side using the roll and tip method.